here in Alaska's Bering Sea using submarines to explore the largest underwater canyons in the world. Switch into emergency power. Right now, as we're trying to research and explore these areas for the first time, the fishing industry is out here with giant factory trawlers the size of ocean liners, dragging nets that weigh several tons, dragging right through these vulnerable and often ancient coral habitats. Even though we don't usually think about it as all being connected, if you lose one element of this very delicate ecosystem, it can really have far-reaching effects. I had no idea that there were so many sponges here in this part of the Zemchuk Canyon. One of the most amazing things that we saw is a skate nursery. It seems larger than anyone has ever seen in Alaska before. Literally thousands of skate egg cases and hundreds of skates all piled in one area. We've seen fish that I didn't even know existed. We're seeing juvenile fish hiding in corals and sponges. In many parts of the Bering Sea, the corals and sponges are, are really all there is for animals to hide in or, or use as nursery. The factory trawlers are in the same region, ripping up these corals without even knowing what's down there. Without these vulnerable living habitats. You don't only lose the juveniles, you could potentially lose really important fisheries. We need a network of fully protected marine reserves to protect our oceans and rebuild our fisheries.